Hey guys, Mike here, and today we're going to be talking about replacement grip covers for vintage pistols. Specifically, we're going to be looking at a pair of replacement grip covers that I got for one of my high standard Sport King pistols. If you haven't seen the video that I did looking at the different varieties of these nice vintage high standard handguns, you can find that on my YouTube channel. Now in the past, I've had less than stellar experiences when I've tried to get some replacement covers for old vintage handguns. Specifically, I was trying to get a replacement grip cover set for an MAB handgun. I thought it was kind of cool because it was my initial, so I was looking for one of these older MAB pistols. And I found one, but it had some cracked covers. I found some replacement covers for this gun on Midway. They were made by a company called Vintage Gun Grips. But unfortunately, when I received them, they weren't a real perfect copy of the originals. The grips required some fiddling around, some working with the, the screw holes that didn't seem to align properly, and I had to do a little trimming with a knife to try to get the grips to fit on the gun properly. And I was in the market to try to replace some grip covers on some of my vintage high standard pistols. Searching the internet, I came across this company, uh, NC Ordnance Incorporated. I thought it was kind of cool because they're in Wilson, North Carolina, which is only about 100 miles away from us. They looked like a pretty high quality company on the website, so I thought I'd give them a chance and see just how true to the originals they were able to make their copies. What I ordered was marked G36, High Standard, Supermatic, and Sport King, and I had a Sport King, so I wasn't real sure how where they're going to fit, and we're going to find out today. Now, one thing I can say is they do look like they're pretty good reproductions. This is the card that's included on the back. A little bit of information about the grips, guaranteed to your satisfaction, bottom line. So let's see if I'm going to be sending these back or if I'm going to be using them. Now, the pistol I'm going to try to put them on is this High Standard Sport King. And I want to talk a little bit about why I would like to replace them. These are great vintage pistols. Let's just take the magazine out. Make sure the gun is clear. These guns have these beautiful Bakelite grips. They have a very nice dark brown, slightly mottled appearance. And it's just, it goes along with just the, the error that these guns were made. They're very nice. Now, a couple of reasons why you might want to replace these grips. A lot of times when you're searching for vintage guns like this on the internet, you can find a gun that's in pretty nice condition as far as the metal goes, but often the grips will be cracked. These are fairly fragile Bakelite grips. But in this case, this, these grips are really in, in very fine shape. But if you're like me, I don't like to just collect old guns. I kind of like to go out and actually use them and shoot them. And what I'd like to do in this instance is preserve the original Bakelite grips because they are fragile. This is probably the most fragile part of this gun. You're a lot more likely to chip or crack these grips if you're actually going out and using the gun. And so what I'd like to do is just take these grips off, save them, and actually go out and shoot the gun and enjoy the gun with some newer made grips. And then for collectability, I always have these very excellent condition grips I can put back on to make it original. So let's take a look at these NC ordnance grips. I can tell you, looking at these grips and other grips that are on the market, the details that you can see in these grips is much higher level than the details that you can see on some other brand grips. I did find at Midway these uh, vintage gun grip brand that is for the Sport King, but the details of the grip aren't uh, as exacting as the details on this grip. So I don't know. I'm hoping that that's a sign that the fit as well as the finish will be at a higher level. We're going to see when we try to put these on. But even little details like this little insignia on the bottom, 
the ridges that you can see on the thumb rest for this left panel on the original you can see the little ridges on the thumb rest and look at the detail look how close they've copied this very impressive and if they actually fit on the gun as well as they look I think I'm going to be very pleased now these are made out of a polyurethane which should in fact be a little bit more durable not nearly as brittle as the original Bakelite material that was used to make these back in the 50s and 60s so the question is is this set of grips going to go on this gun without any fiddling are the holes in the right position are they the right depth first thing let's take this beautiful pair of Bakelite grips off and we'll see how easily the replacement grips go on this is the left side panel now the question is am I going to have to fiddle with it or is it going to fit let's see if I can show you this the head of this screw is a little snug in the opening it looks like it's certainly in a really good position as far as fitting on the gun but that's a little snug it's got a seat down so that the head of the screw is flush so I'm gonna have to work on that just a little bit I tried screwing that out and uh, it didn't back out so maybe it's just a press fit so I'm gonna put the screw in here put a little pressure and if it's just a press fit we should be able to get it out without too much effort yep so here we have the little threaded bushing and the screw now let's see if we can put these in our new replacement grips now on the right grip panel for the bushing you can see the holes not perfectly centered so I'm going to have to just take out a little bit of material on this side so that the hole in the bushing can be centered to receive the screw from the other side and then on this side it's uh, it appears to be centered fine but it's a little tight for the head of the screw so we're gonna have to see if we can't enlarge that just slightly another little issue is this index pin that's in the grip on the right side plate this hole is not quite deep enough when you align these up there's still a little bit of a gap see if I can show that so if I put the pin in where it belongs and push it down you can see there's still a gap it's not quite deep enough to let the grip go flush it's the right size so what I'm gonna have to do is just make that a little bit deeper and then on the left side plate what I had to do is just take a quarter inch drill and just th this hole wasn't deep enough for the head to go in and be flush so I made that hole a little bit deeper okay we'll just snug it down but not too tight we had to do a little fiddling still it looks good it fits good it looks very original as far as the style goes and the details go it feels really good in the hand well we've gotten it back together and there is an issue with function so let's just review that it appears to me that the material that they make these grips out of is just not rigid enough for this particular firearm they look great and they may be great in other firearms that don't depend on the same function but here's the rub when the magazine's in and we pull it back the bolt hold open device doesn't spring forward you can see there's a there's a gap I don't know if this is going to show up in the video but the bolt hold open device there's a part of it right there and there it's not putting enough pressure if I uh, loosen it tighten it I've tried different amounts of tension if you tighten the screw relatively snug then like that's that's snug right there okay and what you see is actually when you snug it more then because the tension is placed 
where the bolt is going through, it actually bows out more. It doesn't snug this pull it and pull it tighter. It makes it looser and you can see the bolt hole open device. There's a little shiny part right there. That metal is actually slipping out of position the more I tighten it. And I had a temporarily tried loosening it a little bit and it would start working and then it would stop working and it would get out of position. So there's no amount of appropriate tension that seems to work where I can get the bolt hold open device to work. And this is what we're talking about. Um, the way this operates, we'll loosen the magazine here, the magazine, this little thumb device that helped load the magazine is actually what pushes on the bolt hole open device. And so it just slips in the little spring in the front, goes in position. So what has to happen is this has to be held in enough so that the little thumb device here can push up on the lever. Okay. And remember earlier I was, I was holding the, the gun up in this position and what you were seeing is the edge of that metal. See when it's out of position, the edge was shining underneath the grip itself. And so it was, it was coming out. It wasn't being held flush like this so that this part of the magazine actually would hit and put pressure on the lever when the magazine is empty. And so if this, if this part gets out of position, then what happens is that little follower slides behind just like that. So that's a problem. So it was a good thought to try to preserve those Bakelite grips, but they're more rigid even though they are more fragile. And so I'm going to have to put the original grips back on and uh, send these back. This is a, you know, I'm sure this is a great company. They certainly look a lot more like the original grips compared to some of the other companies. But there's a functional problem with, I, I think that if you can see, you know, these are made out of a material that is just too flexible for this particular firearm. If it, if it didn't have to depend on holding this in position, it might be just perfect. I mean, they look great, but they don't function well in this particular firearm. Well, guys, sometimes things work as expected. Sometimes they work better than expected, and sometimes they just don't work like they should. Unfortunately, this is one of those times. But no matter how it turns out, you can rest assured that I'm always going to call it like I see it. Good or bad, I'm showing you just what I'm experiencing when I do my videos. I hope you found the information interesting and useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post those and I'll try to respond to those in a timely fashion. If you like what you're seeing on our videos, please consider going to our Patreon page and becoming a patron and making a small pledge to support our video channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.